见冬天的离开，我在某年某月醒过来，我想。You have no idea how many times I've tried talking to her, but she never listens. She thinks marrying a rich guy is some kind of glorious cause or something. Goodness. Girls these days have gone completely mad. Excuse me. Except for you. <laughs> Hello. Where are you? I'm on my way. There's a lot of traffic. Hurry up and get here. See you. All right, got it. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Call me when you're off work. I'll come and pick you up. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Fancy car. I guess she finds the sugar daddy. Yeah. Hello, Miss Tong. Hi. Are you here? I'm in the garage. Ah. Come on in. Okay. What's wrong? It's Monday during normal work hours. Why ask that? We we just normally meet in the car at ten, unless there's a problem. Today I do have a problem. Oh. I'll I'll wait in the car then. Come in fast. Where were you earlier today? Me? Uh, my friend was in trouble. I was just helping him. Your friend? Yeah. Spanish is a lot more descriptive when it comes to nouns. Friend in English could be either male or female, but.
But in Spanish, amigo is male, amiga is female. Much better. <laughs> When did you start learning Spanish? Why can't I? Oh, you can. Amazing. You're so busy, but still have time to study. Where did you go this weekend? Who was with you? Miss Tom, um, the weekends are my legal days off. It's my personal time. Is it necessary to give you a report about my personal activity? Of course you don't need to report to me. But where did you go with my car? I have the right to know that. That's why you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used your car this weekend. But you know, the past few weeks, all day and night, I drove you. All over Beijing. I was working overtime. But I never complained about it, did I? Right? We agreed previously that I would never work overtime. It's not that I don't want to earn extra money, but we had a deal. But lately, we haven't been following those rules. <sighs> Take it easy, all right? I'm your boss. You used my car this weekend, and I just want to know, where did you go with it? It's a very normal question. Why are you acting so nervous and guilty about it? I'm not nervous. Yeah. I used your car, but it's, it's during the weekend. It's my life. I, I don't need to tell you, right? Seems it's pointless to talk about this with you. Yes, it is pointless. Is it necessary to talk about my personal life? We're not girlfriends chatting. What's wrong with you? Yang Shu, you've completely changed. You think you can hide things from me? You need to just forget that girl. She's not as nice as you think. If she didn't offend them, those people wouldn't pick on her. You're just a normal guy, not Jackie Chan, James Bond, or invincible boxing fighter. What makes you think you could help her? How did you know? I saw it. And what did you see? I saw you pick her up in my car. <laughs> I mean, how did you two know each other? No, you tell me first. How do you know each other? I told you before, remember? Shumiao introduced her. Said she looks like her mom. She set me up. So I met her. You told me you didn't talk anymore. We didn't keep in touch. She said she's perfect and deserves someone's better. If you were 20 years younger, you'd pursue her. So now you've become 20 years younger overnight? Or she lowered her standards to fool around with you? That's pretty harsh. We're not fooling around. You hooked up? If you're going to say things like that... Then I'm why leaving. did you lie to me? Why did you say you don't keep in touch anymore? Oh, we didn't for a while. Yesterday was the first time that we've been in touch. Trust me, it's 100% true. I can just go with you myself. Why do you have to bring Yang Shu with? We should go with the man to intimidate them. If it's just the two of us, we won't have the upper hand. All right, fine. I have to go to a meeting. How about I just go there on your behalf? Send me the address, okay? Don't worry. They won't do anything bad to me, okay? I gotta go. My meeting's starting. Goodbye. Hey, Lily asked for time off? Uh, she caught a cold. Pregnant, right? <laughs> you don't need to cover for her. Pregnant? Seriously? You really didn't know about it? Huh? Didn't know about what? <laughs> Mr. Huang's wife came to our company the other day. She said Lily's pregnant with Mr. Huang's baby and she insisted Lily be fired. Director Fung went to go talk to her. Impossible. I would be the first one she'd tell. <laughs> like you always share everything. It's not something she's proud of. I guess her parents don't even know yet. That's it? Yeah. Stupid! Do all guys just turn into morons? The second you see a pretty girl? You act crazy as if your brain just stops working. Now I see why they always say women are dangerous creatures. Because when men see an attractive girl, your minds go completely empty. Since when are you so gullible? She said her former boss is in the mafia and threatened to break her legs. You bought that? Use your head. She's having an affair with a married man. Then his wedded wife found out and went to teach her a lesson. And she's using you to drive her around the city for free. You're a driver. Her job's better. Why would she be attracted to you? She doesn't like me. If she doesn't, she's using you then. Why are you letting her use you? What do you want from her? Nothing, really. I was just trying to help a helpless girl. 
What? She's helpless, so how would you categorize me? The same? I'm not helpless. Listen up. I'm invincible like a dragon. I'm even stronger than tigers and lions. Nothing in the world can defeat me, you hear me? Anyway, I should wait for you in the car. I won't go out today. You won't? Why did you call me then? I called you because you needed to hear this. Sit. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll be fooled by this woman. I heard a story. A cop was fooled by a 21-year-old girl and lost 300000 Don't worry about that. I don't have that much money to be cheated out of. Excuse me for a minute. Why don't you make the call here? Mr. Young. Oh, I'm in the middle of something. Jingjing Jing is in a meeting. She can't talk to you right now. And probably won't tell you anyway. Okay, I'll wait for you. <sighs> well, Miss Tong, if you're not gonna go out today, well, can I ask for the day off? I have something to do. What is it? I'll, I'll tell you when I come back. When will you come back? Uh, maybe after lunch. What if I need the car before then? You just said you weren't going out. How about we just say I'm using a day of my sick leave? You won't tell me? Yeah. I will. Yeah, sure you will. Mr. Young. Mr. Young. Hi. We'd better go right away. Just start driving. I'll tell you how to go. Uh. Wait. You should wear these. What for? To look cool. Let's go. Going out for dinner again? Yeah, meeting a client. Oh. Gorgeous! Get in! Hello. Why are you two together? I'm not telling you. You still think I shouldn't get Mr. Young involved? I'm the one who called Mr. <sighs> Young. We need him to back us up. Our enemies are waiting. Why didn't you tell me earlier you were going? I told you, but you said you would go instead. Hey, Lily. Why do you insist on going when she said it was a bad idea? Aren't you two best friends and looking out for each other? Huh? 
<sighs> Mr. Young, you don't know her well enough. She doesn't like troubling people, so she didn't call you. Huh. But I'm trying to teach her. If a woman doesn't trouble the man she likes, then another woman will seize the chance to trouble him. So nice women who don't trouble their men will be replaced by women who like to trouble men. Isn't that the truth, Mr. Young? So, so who exactly is in trouble, you or her? Guess. <laughs> hubby, it really hurts. Hurts my ass. Why'd she call you hubby? She sent it to me. How would I know why? All right, all right. Let the past be the past. <laughs> Am I making a fuss out of nothing? There's more. Babe, are you all right? Why did you call her babe? <laughs> because I was afraid she'd make trouble. If she went to the police station to file a case that a housewife beat the mistress, we'd be all over the news. She started it all. <laughs> Sis, come on, take it easy. Hey, just sit. Don't worry about it. Listen, when they come inside, no matter what they're about to say, let's just beat them up. So they don't keep bothering us. Just slap them silly. That's right. After that, I'll ask her. Do you know why you were hit? If she doesn't know, I'll punch her in the face until she cries and begs for forgiveness. Then I'll make one thing clear. From today on, if she texts my brother-in-law, sends her a Twitter DM, no matter what it is, and she contacts him again, she's done for. I'll give her what she deserves. Yes. <laughs> Brother-in-law, don't stop me later. I don't want to hurt you. For real. Being a whore is one thing, but it seems you're a complete idiot as well. Why are you pestering my husband? I love him. <sighs> you're a whore! Love? I've read the shameless text you sent him. Ma'am. Just stay out of this. It's got nothing to do with you. Know your place! <laughs> Where are you going? She's not finished yet. Sit down. What's this for, you idiot? I know. Don't test me. Just take it out on me. Oh, so you keep the extra stuff in the northwest part of the house. Yeah. Northwest. Northwest is man's condition. Southwest, woman's status. The kitchen? Yes, it is. What's wrong? If the kitchen is to the southwest, the woman should be aggressive. The husband will fear her. But if the northwest area is full of junk, it means he's under her thumb, and the husband will go out looking for trouble. Stop this nonsense. The northwest area is a closet. Right. A closet. I guess you've put the off-season clothes in there. It's definitely a mess, so your home life will be very messy, too. So you know feng shui? Huh? <laughs> Who put the lines here? If they face out, it'll prevent danger. But if they're face to face, the family issues arise and fight a lot. Oh, I'll fix it right now. This living room makes me uncomfortable. Look, look, this chandelier. One, two, three, four. Four levels. Not a good design. Oh, okay, I'll get a new one. The shoe cabinet shouldn't be too tall. If it's tall, luck won't favor you. Your family 
will be prone to accidents like twisting ankles. No wonder your mom just twisted her ankle all of a sudden. It's not because of that. It should be divided into more three levels. Shoes are important. It's the base. It must be stable. So is your marriage. The toes of these shoes should face inward. Otherwise, it'll be unlucky because they're pointing at you and they form unlucky feng shui energy. Well, can, can I fix it? What animal sign were you born under? Oh, me? A uh, uh, tiger ear. She's a dog. Compatible. Oh, my. Why do you have so many women's pictures in here? You heard him. Do you know what area this is? The luck and romance area. You need to take down these pictures soon. But they're all of me. Yeah, but you're a woman, too. Your decor needs proper feng shui. One picture makes the man loyal. But if you hang many, it'll make him lucky in love elsewhere. He really knows feng shui? Did he tell your fortune? What's on your mind? Want to marry into this family? Seriously, you want to joke around here? I'm not joking around. Yeah, you know what? I'm officially jealous and I hate you. Yang Shu is really a perfect guy. Look at Mr. Huang. He doesn't have the balls to look at me. Men should be composed in any situation so women can feel safe. Everything should be under their control. Now I finally know. Successful men succeed because they can control their emotions. Mm. Uh, hurry up. Take them down. I don't want that one either. This one and that one. And that one. Be quick. Hurry. Hey. Not all of them. Well, keep, keep that one. Keep that one. Hey, may I keep this one? Ask your husband. May I keep this one? Do what he says. Which one should we keep? Now fortune tellers? Can afford fancy cars? He's definitely something else. Did you see how he talked? Normal people don't talk like that. <sighs> you know what? Just learn from him. Look at yourself. Good for nothing. He's even got better taste than you. Are you talking about the girl with him? She's better than those gold diggers after you. And you here. Did you hear that? You need a rude awakening. If you don't break it off with her, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> it's not my fault. Our rooms have way too many pictures. <laughs> <laughs> what, you're blaming me now? <laughs> Hey. Maybe I can make a sketch for you. Are you kidding me? How about teaching me how to do it? Who's going to draw the customers then? Hey there. I know someone who's a great artist, very talented. He earned many prizes, but he's mentally challenged. You should give him a chance. Look, he's over there. No, no, no life is so hard no, for no, him. Just... I don't need one. Sorry. Wait. Come here. People should be more kind, right? Oh my god. You're so gorgeous. Wait. And how do you keep such a perfect okay, figure? Here, that guy here. can draw you. He's mentally challenged, but he can make a beautiful sketch for you. Trust me. He's amazing. No need. Thanks. Thanks. He's mentally challenged. Could you show your compassion? Just give him a chance. He's mentally challenged. Show your mercy, really. It's not expensive. No, it only no. cost you 50. Never it won't take late. long. He can sketch for you right now. No thanks, I'm really oh, no, late. thanks. Why hey, not? You Look, your boyfriend is so no, stingy. Thanks. You shouldn't be with him. 
L lady. Are you painting? I, I can sketch you. Did you draw all these? Uh. How much is it? F Fifty. Two hundred. Show me out. Miss Tanghu. Shouldn't you be in class? <laughs> Shouldn't you be at work? Ah, oh, this is my friend. He's a painter. Hello. A picture of you? Come on, come on. Just sit here. What do you need? Just this one. Take off your shades first. Ask her which type she prefers. Miss Tang, which one do you like? You can choose this kind or that kind over there. A sketch. A sketch, do this you need this? Fine. This one? I can mix the paint for you. That's not necessary. Okay. Give me the eraser. Oh, here you are. It's done, yeah? Miss Town, look. I really like it. It looks a lot like me. 150 for a friend. 150. Keep the change. Don't tell my dad you saw me today, okay? Bye, Miss Town. Look, I earned it for you. Two hundred. You see? What do you think? I'm impressed. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, have, go lunch. have lunch. If I didn't help you, would you sell any paintings today? You never sold this money before you met me. Don't flatter yourself. You make my job Save too complicated. It. Shoo me out. Do you two want lunch? It's my treat. How about it? Really? What do you want to eat? Hey, what do you want to eat? It's up to you. Hey, it's so expensive. The specialty is beefsteaks. Do you want to order that? How do you like it cooked? Medium well. No. <gasps> okay, two of these steaks, please. Medium well and a ribeye steak. Good choice. How about mushroom mm. soup, too? Do you want one as well? Two mushroom soups. And I want a Caesar salad. Hey, what would you like to drink? It's on the last page. Okay. A gin and tonic, please. We want that too. Okay, three gin and tonics then. Mr. Young, could you tell me my fortune? You think I can do that? I can't. Then how do you know so much about the feng shui in his house? I was only helping you out. Think about it. If you guys fought, we'd lose. Impossible. You were right about where they keep their clutter. Normally, the bedroom window faces south. A north and northwest facing room would be cold. But how did you know their kitchen faces southwest? Bedrooms face south. Extra rooms face northwest. So the kitchen had to face southwest. <laughs> Mr. Young, you have to analyze me. You're so good at this. 
<laughs> no, no. But a wise man once said, life is like a ship and like the sea. Some people are born with a silver spoon, and they'll have a really big boat. But being on a big boat doesn't guarantee smooth sailing. Mm. We can't choose the boat or the sea that we're in, and we can't avoid bad weather. It's not up to us. But there's one thing we can control. We can control our response to difficulty. We control the way we handle problems, solve them. I can't agree more. Figure out a way to solve the problem. Mr. Young, <laughs> how do I solve my current problem? How do you two know each other? We met on the street. Miss Tang Hong, don't say a word about meeting me today to Yang Shu. Who's Yang Shu? Her dad. You know her dad well. We work together. Oh. Thank you, Miss Tang Hong. Okay, see you later. Hey, who is she? She seems rich. A big boss, very rich. So does she have a rich dad or a rich husband? She got rich all by herself. She earned every penny she has. Okay. So she works with your dad? Why do you ask that? If she's your dad's colleague, why would she treat us to lunch in a fancy restaurant? Oh. <laughs> Did you see old Mr. Huang today? He was standing right next to his wife. If he didn't love her, he wouldn't do that. Come on, he's not that old. He looks very young, actually. But his wife is a psycho. She's totally a lunatic every time he tries to leave her, and she says she'll kill herself. He told you that? Well, why isn't he afraid of losing you someday? Or worried you'll hurt yourself? I would never. He likes me because I'm more sophisticated. He's totally brainwashed you. If you fight... He'll just say, you're not mature, and that'll be a reason to dump you so you'll never fight with him. That's just what he wants. He pretty much thinks of you as his toy, and plays with you anytime he wants. Isn't being a toy pretty good? You know, it's better than being his wife. She's like a tool, delivering babies and working at his company. What a boring life. Lily. Toys are for fun. It should be fun. If you want to be a toy, find a passionate guy. But this guy is not your guy. Mm, what kind of guy is he then? I think he's very reasonable and calculating. He knows the toy costs money. He can play with it only when he has money. Right? His wife is no toy. They've been through many ups and downs. They've seen the worst of each other. So marrying a woman is like choosing a tool. The more durable, the better. The toy is only for pleasure. And then the tool is for your whole life. You got it? Do you like playing with toys or prefer playing with tools? You didn't let me finish. A toy, when it's all worn out, is thrown away. Yeah, you play with it only because you like it. If you don't like it, why would you spend so much time and money on it? And then end up in a trash can. Anyways, if I could choose, I'd rather be a fun toy. Someone's favorite toy, which they love forever. Everyone grows up. Do you still sleep with your favorite toy that you had when you were a baby? You've thrown it, right? I buy new toys and have old ones. Excuse me, I need to get this. It's fine. Who do you think is calling him? I don't know. 
Mr. Huang. Just ignore him. Hello? Hi, Miss Tong. Where are you? Running errands. You need the car now? We need to talk. Just come see me when you're done. Talk to you later. Hello? I understand. Where are you going? No worries. I'll explain later. Here's the thing. I don't think he's as easy as you thought. When he comes back, tell him you like him and see what his response is. All right, is. fine. Just go then. Don't think you can win him over just because you have more patience. Time is money. The more time you spend on him, the less time you'll have to find another. <sighs> Should I say goodbye to him? <laughs> well, Mr. Young, I have to go. See you next time, okay? You're leaving? Mr. Wong called me. Bye. You, you need to stop her from meeting him. I tried. You're also leaving? Yeah, something's just come up. It's not urgent. Let's just eat first. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I wasted your time. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. When you're my age and all alone, you actually appreciate people wasting your time. Huh? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you really single? I am. You don't have a girlfriend? No. Why don't you? No reason. I just don't have one. Why don't you have a boyfriend? I haven't met someone I like. Me too. I also have the same problem. Hey, I'm I'm really curious. What did you do to your boss? Why is he threatening your life? Huh? It's not true. Not true? Mm-hmm. You lied to me? I wanted to spend time with you. And have you protect me. That's it? I'm flattered. <laughs> Actually, the Mafia is not looking for me. Nor is an old boss pestering me. Hmm. We made everything up. Hmm. Now I see why you can't find a boyfriend. Why is that? The story you made up is intimidating. What kind of guy... Wouldn't have the nerve to pursue you. You seem to have the nerve. <laughs> I was just stupid. <laughs> so no more cheating and lies, okay? But will you keep picking me up then? <laughs> no one's trying to kill you. You're safe. No need to give you a ride. <laughs> Hello? Are you in the middle of something? Don't lie to me again. I was with Shumia just now. What? I ran into Shumia on the street. Shumia? She's not in school again? Where exactly did you see her? I'll call her right now. Okay. Okay. I'm coming right now. Hey, why did you pay again? Oh, seems you have to leave fast. It is something urgent, so dinner's on me next time. Mm-hmm. You're going to the office I'll just later? I'll catch you, Cap. Okay, see you next time. Mm -hmm. 
Where is she? Huh? Don't be so worried. Have a seat. What do you want to drink? Where exactly did you see her? Skipping class again? I ran into her on the street. She was with a boy. They seemed very close. We had lunch together. They just left. Why didn't you stay with them and call me? Lower your voice. A boy? What boy? What does he do? A street artist. A painter. Very artsy and free. So basically he's a hoodlum. Take a look. This is his work. What do you think? It looks nothing like you. Don't tell me you paid for that. No wonder she likes to go out these days. Are they dating each other? Hey, don't call her. I think they are. But then again, I've never been in love. I've no idea what's going on. Maybe they're just friends. Maybe it's no big deal. I just wanted to tell you to keep a closer eye on her, that's all. Don't call her. Trust me, I'm sure she's fine. If something happens, it won't be fine. You're worrying about nothing. It's no big deal if she has a boyfriend. She's an 18-year-old, you know. You think it's nothing? She's a student. She should be at school. Lower your voice. Shall fade on. 